father was a very interesting man. Some of the areas in which I have done very well, he has impressed them on me from the day I was born. The same thing with the traditions. He would take me um, to the family house. It, it would make sure that when we're doing anything in the family, I was part of it. And they keep telling us, remember where you come from. Even my, great, my children, my grandchildren, they say I'm cuckoo. They know all the songs. We are brought up in that spirit. That's why the Jujitoba is not complete without the cuckoos. about him was when he had all distinctions in his um, final year at the University of Lagos, I think around 1971. I was there in high school. So the story was so heavily publicized in Ijebu that we were all so proud that an Ijebu Ijijin could have had such a great performance. Uh, Dr. Olorubo, uh, for lunch, on a cuckoo, MBBS, PhD, OFR, MRCP and many others is a quintessential medical scholar on one hand and a suave socialite and an astute business entrepreneur of impeccable pedigree and integrity. I've known him since 1969. When I got into medical school, he was already out of medical school and trying to, to do his uh, house job. And we met at that time and uh, you were impressed with his um, very affable personality. And I've been his friend ever since then, so I call him my Egmo. I call him my great Egmo, the Olori Egmo. He's, uh, he's a man of vision, he's very visionary. People just respected him, and that's how he became a doctor to thousands of people. And uh, of course, that led to his success where they went to form the uh, ECO Hospital, EKO Hospital with his former lead partners. Uh, he was a very strong pillar of that tripod. The Lorogo Dr. Sonny, Chief Dr. Sonny Koku, was always a very result oriented individual. And for that, I think ECO Hospital, beyond being one of the first pri private PLC hospitals in the nation. Uh, it's one of the first private hospitals to also be a teaching hospital as well. It, it was there as one of our best in thinking, in development, in troubleshooting, in problem solving. His someone who gets to the pinnacle of whatever he touches. When he became the chairman of EcoBank, he became the chairman of all chairmen, of all banks. And um, as a chief, he became the head of all the chiefs. I'm a true son of the soil of Ijebodi. I was born into the Kuku family. In fact, uh, Balogun Kuku, uh, who is my great, great grandfather. And w once you are born, it's put into your head that you are from the famous Kuku family. Uh, you, you must behave in a particular way. And the Kuku family, they are forces to be reckoned with in the Jebu. And by the grace of God, Sonny is now the head of that Kuku family. Mabi Kuku Niodun 1845, Okudi 1907. Late chief, late chief, Bello, Odwe Yubo Kuku. Odi Akoda, Okuneko, Oneko, Niebi Sae. Ipato Kodi Ijebu Okpojo. Kuku is a great warrior. Jagu Jaguni. 
Igba to gun ma gbon de. Won re ni pe. Kuku ina ni. I ma gbon onu e pe. Se awon British na wa ton bo. Won fe gba odo wa wole nbi. Igba ti kuku wa lo aye. Mo gbon lo gba lo. Awon kefiri lo ma lo so bi do ba. La ki o ba. The Cuckoo family has produced three Balogons, and the Cuckoo family has ridden in the Ojudioba for over a hundred years, non stop. But something interesting happened. The KBNC, on prayers from the family, decided to give a hereditary title to the Kuku family and chose the title of Olorogun. That Olor, actually is Oloriogun. That Oloriogun is the head of war, of war. Before the advent of colonial masters, we had our own system of governance. The king we hold fought. Right now, we have the Council of Obas, that is the Jebu Traditional Council, consisting of about 55 members. That is the apex. Then you have the Council of Otumbas. You have the Council of Chiefs. Within the Jebu Day, we have the Olori Tunes. And to serve the whole of the entire Jebu land, we have the Regba Regbas. So they contribute in their respective ways. I'm privileged and honored to be chairman of the Council of Awujale Chiefs. Now, when I say groups of chiefs, there are chiefs in the Jebu classified, they're all classed. You have the Pampas, who are the people. That's like the parliament. Then, after that, you have the Oshubos. They are like the law enforcement chiefs. And then you have the Lamore. The Lamorans are the members of cabinet for KBSC. The title of Ben Yoja, before the ascension of Adetono, was like any other title. And it's a title that you classify under the category of the Pampas. Chief T.A. Odutala played the leading role in the, in the crowning glory of that event. Now we say that from that moment, the title of Ben Yoja emerged. In terms of the title that is taken out of Ben Yoja, I could say that this is the right man for this position. It's a position that requires somebody with a lot of wisdom. The Obeni Oja is uh, like the prime minister. So he's the highest ranking chief in the palace. In fact, the word Oja there is not market. The word Oja there refers to the palace. In the old Jebu tradition, had to do with the management of the community, the community leader. But he also has other roles. Um, there is a, a, they are the kingmakers. And um, normally when the KBC gets old and passes on, these kingmakers are the ones who announce the next king. And he is the chairman. Also, when there is a vacancy in the stool, in the, in the paramount closer stool. He is the regent. 
So it's only people of versatile character, like Coco, who will practice medicine, who will be found in the stock exchange, who will be found in the bank, and so many other things. It is not a hereditary title. So it didn't pass from my uncle, Chief Mayo Kuku, to me because it run in the family, you know. Um, it was an independent assessment and it just happened to be that it's a Kuku that the KBC felt was the most appropriate person to take that position. We had the Chief Timothy Adola Auditora. We also we had Shibayo Kuku. These people were formidable in their own right. And the current one is no less a distinguished personality. Chief of Dutola, um, of course, um, held it for a long time, gave it all the, the glory. I mean, you know, the title you hold, it is the person who is carrying it that does that. And my uncle, Chiba Kuku, um, Chief of Dutola was his hero. If that was his biggest ambition to do, to be like him, in fact, he, he succeeded because he was also chairman of the Nigerian Stock Exchange. That's Chiba Okuku. He went to his school, the Adeola Otilatua High School, and then he became the Ogbeja. I think he felt fulfilled. And we commend the sagacity and the initiative of KBC for bringing such a matured qualified, capable, and thoroughbred Ijebu to become the new Ogwenoja. Dr. Sonny Cook is the field of medicine. He's a global figure. In the field of business, he's a global figure. In the field of tradition and culture, it's a, it's a phenomenon. I think for a man who who cherishes his cultures and traditions. He is, is a man who is going to bring peace to the community. Who's going to bring, with, with a lot of favor, he's going to make sure that he works for the people, uh, has their welfare in mind, um, and make sure that he uplifts the whole of the Ijebu land and the kingdom. He's at home with people. He He's... Uh at home with seeing to the welfare of those that are around him. And uh, that is a very big quality. He's so up down to heart that there's nobody that knows him that will not appreciate who he is. He's somebody that he doesn't have any here around him. He feels free with everybody. He's somebody that always uh, willing to help. In fact, is so appropriate, reassuring, and so dignifying of the Abu to have selected and appointed such a versatile, a brilliant, accommodating individual. Uh, he's been at the forefront of so many things for so many years for so many years. And to still be at the top, to still be interacting, driving the culture, driving the way forward. Uh, his, his legacy in, in terms of his achievements beyond the medical scope, you know. Most professional doctors, most doctors, you know, the, with the, the length of time for to, to become a doctor, you know, normally remain in a niche field. But he's expanded well beyond that. One of the things that we've been working on last two years is to create a, a, a strategy and we've uh, gone very far with getting a think tank who will in fact first of all tell us the strategies how do we bring the economy of Ijebu back to where it should be the infrastructure the health the social welfare the security this is be it's not a fire brigade thing to do it properly if all I can even achieve is to get that structure on ground, on ground and get it moving, you, things will just change dramatically. And that has been the way I've run all the enterprises that I've been part of. 
um, which is why many people uh, really can't understand how I could rise in those areas that have nothing to do with medicine. They just feel, they feel doctors are just people who carry stethoscopes and all. But uh, it's the same principle. The expectation of Ijebo Day people will be justified because they know him. He's with them all the time. They know his character. They know his background. They know his pedigree. He's a great promoter of the book culture. If you look at uh, Ojutoba, he has more or less become a symbol of Ojutoba. When you're planning development, you have various sectors. And we've talked about uh, industries and all. So this is now the culture, that the tradition, tourism and all. And that's one area now that Ijebu has done very well. That area of, of tradition. The Ujidioba attracts people from all over the world. That's once in a year. But there are other areas in Ijebu that uh, can become a tourist haven, you know, and they can be developed. But uh, essentially, without infrastructure, that will not work. It didn't work. So we need to support it. As a chief of the Aujale, or as chiefs of the Aujale, we must be seen first and foremost as its advisors in any application pertaining to the education, the development, the culture, the tradition of the Jebus. Lost everything. Bear in mind the necessity, the desirability of retaining what the Jebus are known for. That is Omoloibi, a thoroughbred person. I think this is a very befitting title, a very appropriate title, and I'm so happy and I'm so proud of the fact that he's been recognized uh, for his endeavors and for his efforts. And uh, long may continue. Things can only be more advanced and prosperous for the Ijebu community by installing Sonikoku as the next Obenyoja. I want to pray for him that God Almighty will stand by him, will guide him, will give him good health, long life, and all that it takes to perform in that office. Ajushe from Bobo, Bobo, La Mashiri, Nigba Temi, Nigba Toma Toma Dafa, Awo Yowani, and Bobo Ijebu, Modupelo Wanyo, Modupelo Kabiesi, Eh Eh Ni Kabamo, Ni Tamashi, Iwaju Iwaju La Mama No, Iwaju Iwaju No Pe Bitinresi. I Irukere, Adabereo, Kabesi, Emma Kovaje, Pepe, 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 Pepe,
Oh, 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 oh,